in this video, I am going to talk about binary search trees and how do we search for a, in a binary search tree and how do we find out the number of nodes in a binary search tree and how do we find out the summation of the data elements in that binary tree, assuming that the binary tree that I, we have here is a type of integer. So first thing first, let's start with the class itself. We do have two classes here. The first class, it's not a class actually, it's a structure. We call it node. And for the node, we basically have the data as an integer. That's uh, the public data type, of course. We got a pointer to the left, pointer to the right, and we do have a constructor here, which basically, uh, it's not a default, it's actually an argument constructor. And I do have the data that's gonna be passed. So the data in the argument is gonna be passed to the data uh, member element and then left is going to be assigned to null and right is going to be assigned to null remember this this is just a node now we do have a class here called bst which is binary search tree and the binary search tree has one private data type which is a pointer to the uh, to a node and we call it the root and in addition let me just take the body of those functions away just to keep the code a little bit compact so I do have a lot of methods inside this class. I'm going to go uh, through them one by one. Um, first thing first, I do have a method. Let me start with the public methods. I do have a static variable. I call it num. I'm, I decided that I can, I'll find the number of nodes in a two different ways. So the first one, by creating a static member called num that will store the number of nodes that I'm going to create. I have a, a default argument constructor. I have a function to add the data, function to print. Uh, I think this print is going to actually, yes, just print. Uh, let's see here. What is the print going to do? One sec. Oh, actually, it's going to actually print the whole uh, tree. And then I have find the minimum, find the smallest value, find the maximum value in that tree. Uh, find the data. You're looking for a data. It's going to return a pointer of that node. This function here will return the number of nodes, and this is going to return the summation of nodes. Now, each one of those functions will have another private overloading method. For example, you see here some nodes. There are some nodes here. And then num nodes, there's num nodes here. Well, actually, I don't need to call a new. Why do, why do I do that? Let me just take that away. Take that away. Find, I don't need the new keyword. Uh, it will totally work just fine. I have to go and, and, and modify something later. But this is overloading functions. Well, so basically, what are you going to do? You're going to call the function. You're going to call the function. And then when you call the function, inside the body of each one of those functions, you're going to be basically calling the private one. But this time, you're just going to pass the root as an argument. So you can see here, same thing here. I'm just going to update those because I took the word new away, so I need to update this. What was I thinking when I added the new keyword? and print as you can see here most of those functions is just calling the same function as the private one on passing the root as an argument and add new did i change the oh, here i need to take this away and take this way away okay so we do have those functions here i got them all let's go ahead and fix those of course i have to come here and take all these new keywords away um, I'm going to explain what's going on here, but let me just go ahead and fix it really quick. I knew. Find max, find mini, and print. And I think I do have the add as well. Okay. So I do have all these methods. I'm going to go one by one. This part is where I assign the static variable here to zero. And this is my main function. In my main function, I created a tree and then I added those elements to the tree. And then here I decided to look for the minimum value, look for the maximum value. And then after that, I looked for the value 60 to return the index, uh, sorry, the, the pointer. 
and then I'm going to say if it does if it does equal the null, that basically means it doesn't exist. Otherwise, it will show you what is the data. And then after that, I have those functions. This is going to basically print the value of num, which basically is going to hold the number of nodes. And this is a function that will calculate the, no, the number of nodes without using num. And this one will calculate the summation, of course, as well. So let's go ahead and look at those methods one by one and see what's going on here. So the first thing here, we got the constructor. Just set the root to equal null. Um, how do we add elements? Let's go ahead and look at the add elements. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to look at the root. If the root equal null, you're going to go here and run this pro uh, statement here. If it doesn't equal null, then you're going to recursively call the function uh, the one that you're just going to pass the root and the data. So what's going to happen here at the beginning when the when the when the tree is empty, you're basically going to come here and just create a new node and assign it to root. And then you're going to increase number of nodes by one. But if the if the tree is not empty, well, basically, here's what you're going to do. You're going to call the other function called add, and you're going to pass the root for that tree and the data itself. So right after this point, the execution is going to be moved to here. And in this part, you're just going to have to compare the data that you have with the root data. And then you should go to the left or you should go to the right. Uh, if you're going to go to the left, you're going to add it to the left. You're going to go to the right, you're going to add it to the right. And all it all depends on the, the, the value of the data uh, you have at the root and the data that you're trying to add here. So if it happened that the data that you have at the root was greater than this value that you're trying to insert, then you basically have to go to the left. Otherwise, uh, you go to the left, and then if there's no node at the left, then you're just going to have to add that data. Otherwise, you're going to call the function again recursively. Now, if this condition is not true, that basically means the left side is not less than uh, the data. The, the, the data that you're passing here is actually greater than the data. That basically means you have to go to the right. And then if there's no node at the right, then you're just going to have to create one. Otherwise, recursively, you're going to call the function again until you find the right spot for it. So this is how we do the add function. Right after that, we have print function. Print function again, you're going to call print. You're going to pass the root. And here's the print function. Um, the moment you get the root to be null, um, well, let's see here what's going on in this case. If not root, and basically the root will hold uh, the address, which is going to return a null, so if it's not null, if it's null, then return nothing. If it's not, then you're going to have to go and print the left tree. And then after that, it's going to show you uh, print uh, the data, and then you're going to print the right tree. So you print left, data, and right tree until you get to the null section. So this is the print function. Um, we have find mini. Again, you're going to call find mini, which is here. And find mini, basically, you're going to have, uh, you're trying to look for the smallest value. So if if you have a left side, you go to the left and you call the function again. You keep going, you keep going, keep going until there's no thing left. Then you're just going to have to go and return whatever the last value you got there. Because the smallest value is going to be all the way to the left. Um, the max, find the max, is going to be the opposite, of course. Instead of going to the left, you're going to go to the right. And here it is. Let me show you that. So you're just going to have to go to the right, keep going to the right, keep going to the right until you get actually a null. Once you get the null, so the value that you have before the null is going to be the greatest value. Now, the last two part, how do we search in a binary tree? Well, we do have a find function, which basically you're going to call the find function, but this time passing the root and the data. And here is the find function. And in the find function here, you're basically going to have to check the root. If it doesn't equal null, and at the same time, the data is less than the data that you have in the root. That, that basically means you go to the left and you search for the data. If this condition is not true, then you're going to have to go and check if the data was greater than uh, the data itself. And root doesn't equal null. If that's the case, then you have to go to the right. Well, if this case is not true and this case is not true, what does that mean? Basically means if the root doesn't equal null and the data actually equal the data, that basically means you find it return the address of that root. Otherwise, if you pass all these tests and none of them get true, that basically means the element you're looking for doesn't exist. Now it's the part where we're going to talk about 
to find the num nodes and sum nodes, which basically it's really easy. Both of them are going to be very similar. As you can see here, num nodes, num nodes, this time no argument, this time I'm going to pass the root. So let's go ahead and have a look at those two, those two functions. The first function here is finding the number of nodes. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go and check the root if it does equal null. If the root equal null, that basically means there's no node, so return zero. Otherwise, return one, which is the, the root itself, because that's a node, plus whatever nodes you have to the left, plus whatever nodes you have to the right recursively. This function will basically tell you how many nodes do you have. Now, some nodes is going to be very similar. And instead of having one here, the data, I want a summation for the data. So instead of just putting one, return the data plus whatever the summation of the left tree, whatever the summation of the right tree. So you can see here, it's three lines of code, three lines of code here. Now I'm just going to go ahead and give it a try. And here we go. So this is my data. This is my tree that I created. It's a binary search tree. And then I, after that, I was trying to show it on the screen. And those are the elements that I have. And then after that, uh, the minimum value is 10. The maximum value is 70. And then 6 was found at location. This is the address of 6. And here it is. I Seven elements I have using num variable. Seven elements I have using the function num nodes. And the summation of all these values is basically 280. Here are the numbers. Do the calculation and you should be fine. So this is, again, the implementation of a binary search tree of a type integer. I created all these nodes. I'm going to go through those classes one by one. So I do have the node structure here. After that, I have the BST class. This is my private uh, root pointer to the node. This is how we add elements into the node. And this is how we print. This is how we find the mini. This is how we find the max. This is how we find an element in general. Those two functions to find the number, the, sum, the number of nodes and the summation of the data of that binary tree. For each one of those methods that I have inside the private section, I do have a public section, public methods that are basically going to call the function, only this time passing the root to it. So, so I can recursively call it inside the main function. Um, here we go. So this is my constructor. This is how we add the element. We need to understand that we have two cases. If the root is, if the tree is empty, then this is going to be implemented. If the tree is not empty, then you're just going to have to add the element. This is the print, find mini, find max, find in general, num nodes, and some nodes. Um, I guess this will be the end of this video. I'll see you guys later.